Well, they won 5-0 when they met in the group stage, Slovakia and Japan. So you wonder if that means that Slovakia have to be seen as the favourites, having beaten them so comprehensively. But I guess form goes out of the window when you're in a final. It's who can stand up to the nerves and the pressure and perform on the big stage. Yeah, for sure. It's a totally different game. And it's also different than the semi-final because just when Neymar came in the pitch, he's bringing a different vibe to the game. It's a different atmosphere. So the player feels it and it's who got the nerve to, to be able to play in this condition. So Japan will get us underway. Takizawa is over the centre kick for them. Goes back to Imamura. And uh, Imamura's ball is cut out. Guarding the back Whoa. of the net is uh, Takizawa. So pressure from Japan, you know, they press. It's a little bit different from what they do in the semi final. They press straight away. It's a good strategy. Banikova for uh, Slovakia was quickly into the challenge. And Banikova has it here, goes for goal. And it's uh, well blocked by Imamura. And it's funny because uh, sometimes I feel the ball is too heavy for the girl. You know, the way they shoot, sometimes they miss the control. So it can be an element. Uh, if they make a bad pass, it can be a mistake and uh, they can concede the goal. Nakagai on the move here for Japan. Closed down well by Badikova. And now it's picked up by Samatanova. Japan saying there was no foul there. And uh, here comes Slovakia on the move. But the whistle has gone. Foul committed by Dirka Sova. Though she is unhappy with the award of it, as you can see. Yeah, you can tell she's upset, but she has to leave it and uh, keep concentrating on the game. Bit of an air kick there from Takizawa. Takizawa going into the challenge and Takizawa making the foul as well. Remember the prize on offer, what a prize it is as well to play against a star-studded women's side on this pitch, which has been selected by Neymar Jr. Six players from the Brazilian women's national side are in it, so that's what's on offer. And Japan looking to get the opening goal in this final to take a place in the super final, but don't manage to find a way through on that occasion. Cut yeah. forward by Nevedelova, but... Uh, She's been held up by a cluster of Japanese players and has won the free kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Japan seems more confident and more uh, into the game. But Slovakia uh, proved before, you know, they, they were defending a lot and uh, they just had the first goal. So nothing is decided in this game. Uh, everybody can win. So back it goes now to uh, Kenkatsu. Picked up by Tommy. Worked into Kobayashi. And uh, Japan being very calm and composed. And again, there's that little dummy that they seem to really be fond of. Yeah, Jap Japan is uh, trying to play the game. They're trying to play between the line. There is uh, this small player, the number four, I don't know the name. Uh, she's always between the lines. She's really dangerous. It seems like she's the number 10 of the team. Like she, she controls the game and can be the can go, give the right pass at the right moment. Jarina Tommy is the uh, player that San is uh, talking about with the blue bracelet on her arm. But at the moment she has to do some defending rather than trying to play in that number 10 role. But now here come Japan on the counter attack. Imamura leading it. Imamura almost finding a way through. Slovakia survive for now. And she tried to keep to, to score directly from uh, from the defense, which is a big indicator because they don't try to, to play the ball, they just try to kick. So maybe this, they might suffer because they are tired or maybe they are not uh, into the game, they are not enough concentrate. Japan starting to see a bit more of the ball. That was nicely worked. Little flick there from Takizawa. Doesn't quite come off. And now Slovakia with the chance to hit them on the counter. And again, that's your favourite player there, Tommy, who's back defending for the Japanese side. Down the line now for Takizawa to chase. Takizawa waiting for some support. Goes all the way back to Imamura. And given away by Huchikova. Imamura bringing it forwards, but now she's been dispossessed. This could be trouble, but couldn't quite work it into the nice run of Banikova. Nice pass, 1-1, one, one. yeah. You see, she gets the ball back. She made the right choice, and she has the ball straight away after the pass to get it back and score directly to the goal. This uh, girl, this number four, is, is really the, the main player of uh, the Japan team. Jarina Tommy 
is the uh, number four who has scored the opening goal of this game. Remember, they lost 5-0 to Slovakia in the group stage, but when it matters, Japan are leading 1-0 in the final of Red Bull. Neymar Jr.'s five, the women's competition, the second edition of the women's competition, the first one by the Brazilian side. It's the Japanese team who have the edge this time around, though. We're approaching the halfway stage of the game. What does Slovakia need to change? I think uh, they need to be more confident on the ball. Don't try to rush too much like this, you know, because you, you lose the ball. And Japan, they are really into the defense. So, so you, can't, you can't score like that. You need to take, uh, to be patient and, and make the right choice. Never Delova with a sliding tackle that she failed to make. And Tommy, once again, was proving to be the problem for them. Nice. Tommy was in space there. Perhaps the pass to her would have been the better option. And now, it, it, look how tired the Slovakian team are. You know, they, they barely can walk. So I, I don't see them coming back into the game, but everything can happen in Neymar 5. Never Delova going for the lobbed attempt, but uh, too much on it. So it will be a Japan ball, and Japan making a uh, substitution. Yeah, and, good uh, choice to have a fresh energy into the group. Uh, yeah, I see this player the, the going to the pitch is, uh, was in the game before and uh, she was decisive, so let's see if she can bring something to the table. Nana Kojima, oh, nice oh, what a chance that was. Imamura could have uh, put Japan virtually on the brink of lifting the trophy, but couldn't quite get her angles right there. And it's a uh, let off for Slovakia. It will be cool for the show to uh, see Slovakia come back, you know? Because, yeah. but it's going to be hard. The way they play now is it's difficult. Oh, la, 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 la. Well, how on earth did she manage to squeeze that in? Slovakia back on terms, and it's game on. It's the first time I see Japanese didn't press Slovakia, and they took the opportunity to shoot into the wall, get the rebound, and score. Well, it is on a knife edge now. 1-1 one, one with... Uh, just over three minutes left to play, and Slovakia now looking to go ahead. What an important tackle that was from Imamura, and Imamura leading the counter for Japan. Real thriller, and Tommy not far away from her second goal of the game. I and again, they go close. I like the way Tommy plays, really. It's really beautiful to see her playing. Flicked forwards and uh, defended by Nevertelova, and Nevertelova sends it out. Now tension really is building because the next goal could prove to be the winner for either side. Tommy, who seems to be the go-to player for the Japanese, looking for the return pass. Slovakia with everybody back behind the ball. Nice pass. Tommy has worked it back well, but uh, just the sheer weight of numbers that Slovakia had back there ensured that there was no way through. But that's uh, well won back, nobody in the center, and the foul has been awarded for the challenge in the corner. Uh, Japan is uh, fight for the ball. Uh, yeah, more spirit, but everything can happen now. Slovakia made the, the biggest uh, step. She, they came back, and now it's uh, really an open game. I love this 4v4 situation because... There's space. Know, yeah, this pitch is, is a little bit uh, small for 5v5, and now 4v4 is allowed the player to run like that, to get some shot, to make some tricks as well. It changed the game totally. It's a totally different game. Here comes Japan, though, with uh, Tommy on the move. Tommy decides to go back to Imamura and uh, opportunity not there for Takizawa. Tommy again making nice it tick skill. for Japan. And what a chance and nearly through the legs. Good defending from Smatanova and she nearly went into the semicircle as well. And that lob is a long, it, long it, way over the it top. It was a strange situation. The referee didn't know himself if he had to choose the penalty kick. And what was really cool is the Japanese didn't complain. <laughs> You know, they, they are so fair play, and I love it. Well, they help to eliminate the favourites. Brazil and uh, headed goal would certainly be a rarity, and uh, Slovakia were looking for, for one there. But we are edging towards the possibility of a golden goal, 1v1, to decide the final. That would be pretty epic, wouldn't it? And I will want to see uh, the number four yeah. from Japan <laughs> against the number five from Slovakia. It's going to be an epic battle, David versus Goliath. Well, here's a chance for Slovakia to win it! Oh, she has done, surely! What a finish! Slovakia had the lead, it's Dukasova 
Well, that must be the winning goal. Yeah, this girl is so strong since the beginning of the tournament. She was playing all the ball like like a final ball of every game and she made a difference all the time, so props to her. Well, they have a player less, Japan. They're going to need something extra special now. Maybe they can find it, though. Tommy's in space. Can she provide the finish? Tommy's still nice. going back across. Oh. Nearly an own goal. Oh, oh nearly oh, in no, again. No, no. And now here comes Turkus over to settle it for Slovakia. Nice Blocked block. off. Come back. We have 20 seconds left. What a finish to the final this is. Now Tommy it's... wants it. Tommy's going to deliver. Still Tommy. Sends it wide. Back across. Chance again. Well, what a climax to this final we are having. Ten it's last nearly second. over. Ten seconds left to play. Slovakia are nearly there. Is that a foul? Referee says no. Japan's still going. Can they get an equaliser? Tommy. Chance. Oh! oh! And she just fluffed her lines when the opportunity was there. And it's all over. Slovakia have won it. They are the victors in the second edition of the Women's Red Bull Neymar Juniors 5. What a final. I love the spirit. Look how they are exhausted. You know, they give their 100%. They are so happy. And at the same time, Japan plays so well. They couldn't have made it to the, to the winning uh, position. But it's the life. It's the tournament. Everybody can win. It the, the, doesn't matter how your style is. You can win this tournament if you are confident and you are strong in any position. Well, they won 5-0 when they met in the group stage, Slovakia and Japan. So you wonder if that means that Slovakia have to be seen